Hey, it's Kenny. I'm going to be going on a seven day camping trip at Cape Blanco down on the south coast of Oregon. And I'm uh, going to hit the road here pretty quick. Not sure exactly what I'm going to be exploring down there, but most of it's going to be about the stuff I go out and do it exploring about. A tiny bit of camping. There's going to be a couple of other people there that are camping and are friends. So, hey, Come along with me on this trip. <laughs> See you on the road. Well, it's about two and a half hour drive from Florence all the way down to Cape Blanco. Gonna be going through Reedsport, North Bend, Coos Bay, and Bandon. And then uh, Cape Blanco is just north of Port Orford. So here we are turning into Cape Blanco State Park. Time to set up the trailer. It was pretty windy the entire time we were camping here. There was only a couple days where it was calm. <laughs> Most of the time the wind was blowing like crazy. But we're down in the trees, so it was pretty protected at the campground. So there's Cindy and Mike. They both brought their separate trailers. And then uh, James stopped by with his motorcycle to visit. We were visited by a blue jay. The next morning, we had bacon and eggs and hash browns for breakfast. And James tried out his new tent. It looked like a very sturdy tent. I went for a drive into Port Orford, went to the grocery store and bought a few things, and then did a little bit of exploring around the area. Here we are driving through Port Orford. I thought I'd turn off up here at the visitor center. There's a viewpoint that looks out over the ocean and Battle Rock. There was some history here at this rock down here. And it was very windy, so I never got out of the car. <laughs> Up, up on the hill, there's a Port Orford lifeboat station and museum up there. It used to be the U.S. Coast Guard with an uh, active station here, but it's no longer active, but it is a museum, so I thought I'd go for a tour through the museum building. This lifeboat station was active from 1934 until 1970, when it was decommissioned and it became a U.S. State Park in 1976. Let's go for a tour inside the museum building and see what's in there. Wow, look at this three-dimensional scale model of the area. Pretty amazing. And here we have some very nicely done and detailed models of U.S. Coast Guard boats. Pretty cool.
There's a model of that 36 foot lifeboat that we saw outside under the shed. And here's some very interesting photos, stories about this place. We've met over the years, and he ran into them. They, they're doing like folks like us. And they're not doing so well now. So I want a dinner. Sorry. That would be nice to take you to Redfish. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, it's nice. There is plenty to see here in the museum and all these items have a short description of what they are and where they were from. This wheel washed up on the beach by Florence, Oregon. Well, that was very interesting. I saw a tour of the old Coast Guard station. So I bought a souvenir, a informational book. Fort Orford Lifeboat Station number 318. Well, I'm glad I took a tour of the museum, so I think it's time to head back to the campground and uh, spend time with my friends. We're headed down the hill from the U.S. Coast Guard Lifeboat Station. While I was out exploring around Port Orford, uh, Cindy and Mike went to the blueberry farm and picked some blueberries. And this evening was Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Time to sit around the fire. Enjoy the evening. Marshmallow Rice crispy Squares baked over the open flames. Thanks for coming along with us and watching my video. May God bless you, your family and friends. And I will see you in the next video.